Hi guys, my name is um, Kuli Art <laughs> um, from Viva Training Academy and we're going to be stripping this um, boiler. This is the um, Viesman Vito Den 100. Um, so yeah, let's go for it. This video is for gas safe registered and trainee gas engineers under supervision. Please comply with the current regulations at the time. So if this were a live boiler, what would we have done first? Um, we'll carry out our electrical checks. Yeah. Um, and obviously isolate the main, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah. You might have like little catches on them. Yeah. And then there's one on this one as well. Look. Yep. Yep. And just be careful that there would be a washer in there as well. So we'll just save that. Okay. And then just show it to the camera. So you've got your, your burner here. Yeah. And you've got your, your seal around here. Do you want to just zoom in a bit to the camera, just to show it camera? Yeah, so that would be a seal there, so we need to check that if we're going to do a service. And then what's this bit here at the bottom? Lift that up. Just, just part of your, your fan. So, yeah, so we just turn it that way. That's your fan there. So that's your fan. And then right. you've got your gas valve. Yeah. On the bottom here. And then you've got your gas valve there. Yeah. That, that one. So if you're in a customer's house, you might only be able to lift this up a little bit. Okay. But what you're doing is you're taking this out of top of the exchanger. Yeah. But for this, we're just gonna take it out because it, it's just easier for okay. us to for us to do it. Right. So if you just turn that round to the back, lift it up a little bit. This, this, so this here, if you had to change the hose on this Wiesman boiler, you need to take this heat exchanger out, take them clips off, and pull that hose off on the back. So yeah. that's, how, that's how you do it on this boiler. Let's just put that carefully down on the floor there. So it's an 8 litre expansion vessel on the Speedman 100. There's just some little bolts there on Allen keys. So you take that one out on this side. And then same here, there's one there, look underneath there. Yep. And then you can get that plate heat exchanger out of there. Okay. As you lift that out, it'll just lift it up. Just make sure you don't lose the washers off it. See them washers? Yeah. And always remember, you don't want any water run out. So yes. you'd always protect this from water. Okay. One of the major benefits with this boiler, the PRV there is connected to the condensate pipe. So you don't need to have an external pipe for your blow off. So it's built in. So that's something interesting for trainees to know, obviously because they might expect it to have a pipe to outside. Get that condensate trough out, just, should just lift up. Just show that to camera. 
So that's your common set trap on Beesman boiler. So you've got your auto air vent there. You've got your pressure relief valve, your PRV. You've got your pump. You've got your diverter motor there. So if you have a look at that diverter motor, that just clicks out. And that motor just moves up in and out like that. And it moves that pin in there. And that'll move it from central heating to hot water. Okay. So really easy. Once you start stripping stuff down, yeah. it's easy to understand what things are. Definitely. And then that needs to go back in that pin like that. This here, so a lot of people talk about leaking plastics in boilers, but this is a this is a built-in shock arrestor. So that's why Viesman don't tend to have the problems with leaking plastics. Do you want to just pull that clip out of there and we'll just take that expansion vessel out? So that's just your mini expansion vessel. So that just that's just like filled with air. Alright. So it just stops damage okay. to components. Right then, do you want to put it all back together? Of course. So just remember, everything's easy. Taking it out. Everything's easy, but you should just be gentle with everything. Definitely. And then hold it now, and now you need to get this. Maybe put the top one in. Right, Keep hold of it at all times, because it's really, really heavy, is that heat exchanger. Have a look on these as well, really good. Shot that camera, but they've all got numbers on. Oh, all, right, all the okay. different ones. So if you did get stuck, yeah, you could have a look in installation instructions, yeah, and it'll tell you which one goes Pretty to where.
So, I've learned how to strip down this uh, Wiesman 100 boiler. Um, I've got great experience. Some of them have different components compared to the other Wiesman. They like this um, shock. Um, yeah, shock arrest there. Yeah. Which is really good. Yeah. Also, the combined expansion, uh, the combined blow off. Yeah. With the condensate pipe, so yeah. you don't need condensate outside. Yeah, and sometimes just need to be careful, like Alan says. Um, the heat exchange is very heavy. Some of them are not heavy, some of them are heavy. So you just need to be wary when you're taking it off um, in case it drops and um, all the water goes onto the PCB board. Um, so that's very important. Um, so as you're taking it apart, you can see the kind of uh, things you need to be aware of. One thing I did notice, which um this is probably because of your background in, in aircrafts and things like that. Yeah. Is that as you take stuff out, you put the screws back where they should be. So yeah, that's what I've been doing, so, so you, you don't, don't lose them. them. Yes. Yeah, which which is really, really good. Yes. Good practice, that. Definitely. Um, but other than that, it's been absolutely great. Um, working under Beersman 100. Very nice, Violet. So, today, thank you very much for watching. Pro. Use. I'm proof.